Hello guys, it is me, Everything Technology. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Windows Update V6 and Microsoft Update website working on a Windows XP computer. Note, from in my experience, this has only worked on Professional, not Home Edition, nor Media Center Edition, or any other edition. So, if you try going to it, it may loop or give you a page is not displayed error. This has been like that since August 2020. So let's get started. First, I'll be providing a link to everything you will be needing in the, you know, description or pinned comment. Let's see, extract all. Just let that do its thing. It is ready, let's. First thing, run the Windows Update Patch. It runs a script and everything. You can see how what that does. Okay, I will re I'm gonna restart Windows, so I'll be back when Windows is restarted. Okay, I've restarted the computer. Let's proceed. Go back to the folder. This time, open proxy and do prox h. Let's see. Creating CA, aka certificate. You'll get a little security certificate. Please import that into the following directory. Install certificate. Place all certificates in the following store. Let's see, show physical stores. Put it in trusted root certificate authorities local computer. Next, finish. The import was successful. Confirm it's working. We're good. Now we need to replace the config file. Preferably rename it this to config.old or something else. Then go to the previous folder, grab the config file. Open the proxy again. It should ask for a firewall prompt. And it didn't here. But if it did, just click on block. Now that we are done here, we need to go change some settings. Go to internet options. Set the default level to high. Sites. Turn off. Require server verification. Add the site. Add the sites as you see them. Okay, pause. you may pause the video and use this to, you know, enter these sites in, close, then you need to go to connections, LAN settings, you add changes, go to secure, add local 
post eight zero eight zero. Okay, then go to advanced. You will be needing to change a couple settings. Let's see. Use make sure H use HTTP HTTP one point one through proxy connections is checked. Make sure use SSL 3.0 and TLS 1.0 are checked and uncheck SSL 2.0 if that's checked. Hit apply. Now we're gonna check the proxy to make sure it's working. Now it should give us that firewall prompt. Nope. I guess the firewall isn't turned on. You minimize this. And now we should be able to go to Windows Update. Wait, let me check something. Oh, my tethering wasn't on, but let's see. I'll be back. Got it working. Now I'm gonna, you can leave the video now if you want, if you just want to get Windows Update. Please stay here if you want Microsoft Update. So we're gonna close the proxy. You, we're gonna have to go back to the Microsoft Update folder. Let's see. Go to System32. and just put each of these files here. With this, with the one that has the emu, get rid of the underscore en part, then add emu web. Then we gotta go to the command prompt. And now we need to do a couple more commands and then we are done let's see type in rag svr 32 m u c l t u i dot d l l okay then do r e g s v r 32 m u web dot d l l that's it now go back to the proxy, La oh you can use launcher, but then go to Internet Explorer, type in update dot microsoft dot com slash microsoft update and you should be good to go. get to act run activex control and there you go you're good to go S start now I'll give you a little demonstration of it working I will return once it has when the checking for updates has finished okay it worked so this is this whole video so please subscribe and see you next video. Peace out.